Oh, shucks. Yes, yes, yes. We're doing another episode. We're doing another episode. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I put the music down. Damn, man, I'm violent shit. Put that goddamn music, put that music down. Put the music down so I can hear you talking. <laughs> it's a cool beat, though. Listen to it. Yeah, it's fire, 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 fire. Yeah, I like that right there. My boy Jovi out of uh, Missouri did this right here. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Let me get it down to acceptable level for y'all. Maniacs out there, man. First of all, appreciate y'all watching this, man. Pierre Live. I do it. Uh, I try to do it every week, man. I'm going to start doing a couple of them. I don't know if I should do the shorter version, which you're seeing right now. These are the shorter versions of the joint. Um, These are, you know, 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes instead of the whole 45 minutes or hour or whatever I do. Um, appreciate y'all watching, you know, you know, getting my point of view on stuff like that. I'm gonna keep it 100, keep it a buck, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, can relax, you know, sit back and just, you know, see my flavor. You know, I'm gonna say it like I said, do it how I do it. If it's funny, it's hilarious, you like it, you think I'm cool, great, good, great. If you think I'm corny, whack, nigga, why are you still on here? <laughs> I have no idea. If you feel a certain negative way about me, you watch me every week. Um, I wouldn't do that. I don't do that. Unless you got a little like for a nigga. So it is what it is. Um, hot tamales. Got that cup. Merch is about to be on sale too. My merch. My pop for PS Panic Room. My ver- merch right here. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. About to shoot my special. New comedy special called Guarantee. Guarantee. I guarantee, but the word rant. I'm about to have some t shirts. Fly ass shirts, too. For what? Um, so I'll be looking forward to that. Basically, me just ranting about stuff I'm tired of, man. Ain't we all tired of stuff? We tired of this, that, them, those, who's, what, and um, we just tired. So I'm going to rant about it. That's how we're going to do it with me. Go get it off our chest. Now, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? What we're going to do is get it off our chest. And again, um, let's get into some of this stuff that's happening right now. Some of this ignorance that's happening. Um, You know, I've been blessed, man, to be in this business for a long time, man. 30 some, you know, some 30 plus years, man. I've met a lot of people, man. I've met a lot of people. been on tours with people, major artists. Um, been all over the country, all over the world. Um, been on all types of tours, Def Comedy Jam tours, my own tours, R&B tours, you know, just 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 all kind of group tours, you know, different kind of acts. Sometimes it's just been me and like Frankie Beverly and Mays or whoever, Patty LaBelle or whoever the case may be, um, Kim and a whole bunch of people I've been on tour with, man. I've really been lucky. And I did plays, man, urban plays brother been doing a lot you know then of course i make my own movies my own podcasts you know um work for comedy hype news man just do a lot of stuff man so i'm blessed to be in it met a lot of people had an opportunity to to probably do some stuff that's outside of my character and i chose not to do and i'm saying this for a reason um you know sometimes people get in this business man and it's easy to get uh hypnotized by the money you know, everything you wanted in life is in front of you. Some people do anything for it. I've seen people do anything for stuff. I've seen people like men get cussed out on a set or cussed out behind the scenes or something. Just berated, man, and took it and just put their head down and, you know, doing what they had to do, you know, whatever. And I used to be like, man, that ain't never going to be me. I ain't, Let me tell you something. That's probably why I ain't going to never be large. I'll just be real with you, real, real large, because I, I don't take it. I don't, you're not about to disrespect me. And we both can sit in the, to pull me to the side and tell me what you need to tell me, but you ain't about to yell at me in front of everybody. You dumb motherfucker, you dumb mother. No, sir, I don't care if you're a producer, the main act, whatever. You're going to hear right back from me. People know who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. Trust me. I've seen them. I've seen them. Things things are called um, the whipping boy. The whipping boy is basically somebody you, the head person, whatever, can always shout at them about stuff, but they get pissed off, boom, boom. And there's people who fit right in that slot and can take that and do it. And I've seen people who've done that and take that position and become large, become a producer or a director. I'm like, damn, I remember he used to be on the set of the video, get his ass cussed out. Now he's doing something larger than me. <laughs> but 
It is what it is, you know. And you guys are loving that person, male or female. I like him. I like her. Yeah, but you should have saw what happened. I've seen women do stuff, you know, in in trailers or hotel rooms. You're like, wow, okay. You know that vagina is a hell of a commodity, ladies. Y'all are sitting on a bankroll. I'm just telling you, you know it, but y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know the desire man wants so bad. You damn near do anything for it. You know what I'm saying? Try to control it. Um. It's interesting, too. Um, you know, this is all about the situation we're about to get to. You know, some men who have that power, and it can not, this not be in the industry, in, you know, entertainment industry. This can be anything. I mean, in politics or a boss who owns a business, especially men. When they get that power, man, when they have all the money they want, the thing they want after that is really females, you know, vagina. The ones who are straight. Sex, I'm going to say, just in case there's some homosexual listen to me. It could, be, it could be homosexual sex, but it's sex you want. And um, unfortunately, a lot of people who want to be around the people with the money or power positions or get a you know, leg up on something, no pun intended, will give up that sex. Um, I was never one of the person, I was never one of the kind of people who abused my power. You know, the power I had, big or little power I had. I never abused it. Um, you know, if I was with a woman and she act like she didn't want to have sex, I'm, I'm good. Shit, I'm not about to take it. This is wasn't worth it, you know. You know, and maybe because I'm handsome, and I used to get it all, so I didn't have to see one of them. I get that right here, man. Go on, next, I get someone else. I'm not, not, not you're not gonna do that. And I've had situations where, you know, women said, you know, you know, you know, when I was younger, you know, yeah, I come to your hotels, all blah, blah. And they get to the hotel and they change their mind. Now, yeah, I'm not happy, but I'm not about to take it. You know what I'm saying? If I pick them up or they got, you know, the cab and cab it back home while I drop their behinds back off, I did not want that problem. I didn't want, look, your vagina ain't worth my, my, my money or my freedom. It just wasn't. So I never done that before, ever. You know, I don't have no smut in my name in this business. Anybody come back and say, he did it to me. He did it to me. No, never. You know, I don't, I don't play those games, you know. And that's why in all these years, I've never got caught up in no BS, you know. Um, and I never liked no one to be around me who didn't want to be around me. If you want to be around me, you know, I'd help you get vacated from the scenario being around me. Or I would try to make it, you know, work it out. I just didn't like people to work with me or work for me. They didn't weren't happy around me because of me. Now, I've been around people who haven't been, been disgruntled, with disgruntled employees, but it wasn't because of me. You know, it might be on a set or might be in a concert and they were pissed off, but it wasn't me. I always like to make peace and, you know, be cool. Now, I'm not a sucker about that. I ain't going to kiss your ass, nigga. But, you know, we're going to talk about it and say, hey, bro, was it really worth it? what you about to do? Whoop -de -whoop. If you feel like it's worth it, then go on. Act a fool. But if not, come on, man. Let's get this, you know, done. And most people thank me so much afterwards. Like, man, P, I appreciate your conversation, man. You really helped me get down from where I was at mentally, man. So, so that was always cool. And that's why people mess with me. I'm thinking, you know, remember. People remember how you treated them. Trust me. Like that great Angela, um, or a Angela, Angela, Angela. Angela, uh, what's her name? The poet Angela, uh, my uh, Maya Angelou. Damn, what the wrong oh, my Angelou since said people may not always remember what you said to them, but they always remember how you made them feel, and that is so true. Once I understood that, because mm, sometimes you have somebody say, I don't like so and so, like, well, why don't you like them? I just, just yeah, asshole, like, no, but what do you do? I, I was a shitty asshole, like. No, but what did he do? So, I mean, if you, if you don't be at, so you don't know what the hell it was. You don't even remember what it was. You just remember whatever it was, whatever it was at the moment. You don't like the person. You don't even know what the hell it even was. So boom. So um, with that being said, I didn't want that. All right. Um, you know, the man of the hour right now. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Him. Um, I met him before. I actually met Puffy before. Uh, P Diddy, Puffy, probably. And then they got three or four names. You got to be suspicious about them. I'm trying to tell you. When they got about three or four names, you think, what do you need me to call you, brother? Why you need to keep changing your name? But um, no, nah, he's in the entertainment business, so I, I get it. Um, I met him one time. I was doing this. Um, I was hosting this um, Budweiser Superfest tour, 1997. I think it was around August. It went to August to November-ish. I think it was August, September, October, November. It was me, Genuine. Um, who else was on it? Uh, um, 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 who's Cisco? What's, it? what's Cisco? What's that damn? What's Cisco's group name? Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Um, Aaliyah. Mary J. Blige. Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and Kid Capri. 
man we had so much fun on that tour good lord we had so much fun that's when touring was fun man that was when it was fun man you don't have no idea what that we did man my man genuine he was new he had that song pony out you know all the girls loved him and shit but i remember i used to be the host so i'd come up and bring an act out you know and then whatever and then do a little comedy and then bring the next act out and really by the second or third act it was whatever man i didn't have to do it no more <laughs> i just sat in the back and watched it get in the rafter and watch it um but I remember uh, that's when he said I was a, a genuine. I had the curls or whatever, the, the, you know, the little hair on, his, on the sides and shit, you know. And I remember I would see him on stage. <laughs> that's my boy now. To this day, man, we cool as hell, man. Me and G. Um, he would come on stage. Yeah, we would open his shirt up, and you know. And I remember seeing like, like he was blinging and shit, like glistening, bling, 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 bling. And I'm looking out, what the hell? And I thought he'd hug somebody with some um, glitter on him, you know, the first show. I said, okay, because he had glitter on his side of his face. And then the next show, he, you know, next night we go and do his concert again. He up there again. I'm in the rafter, you know, seats watching it and stuff on the side. I'm like, he's shining again. Bling, 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 bling. He moving in pony. Bling, 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 bling. It's just sparkling up that moment. Bop, bling, 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 bling. And I was thinking, there thinking, damn, he hugged the same person again. The third night, I saw him up there. He was shining again. Bling, bling. I said, no, nigga, you ain't you ain't hugging the same person now. Now that damn that, didn't they got some glitter? The click, 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 glitter. <laughs> and but the women were crazy about him. Y'all remember young? You, you, if you don't remember, your mama remember. If you in your forties and above, you remember that door. You remember that damn door. Don't act new, okay? Um, but we had a great time, great tour. And when we were in Madison Square Garden, I was in the back, and a little entourage came through, and it was Puffy and his boys, and um, he stopped and was like, "Yo." You that dude from the movie because of how to be a player and Baps just came out, you know, and he was like, Yeah, I remember you made you from the movies and all that. I was like, yeah, all right, brother. Oh, damn, Puff Daddy right there. All right, cool, Puff Daddy. And that was really the extent of meeting Puff Daddy, you know. <laughs> just that right there. Boom. Um Well now the boy going through a lot of stuff. You know, he's going through a lot, a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? The young lady uh on the right hand side, Miss Cassidy, you know, she People would try to say stuff about him for a long time and it just didn't stick. You know, he's like the Teflon Don, man. You know what I'm saying? He was just the Teflon Don. It just wouldn't stick, man. Um, until she recently, you know, said, damn it, I'm exposed, brother. I'm going I'm to say what it is. Um, I remember one time I saw this video. I just thought it was so cheesy between them two. He was laying in bed. He was, he was laying at the edge of the bed. She was laying behind him. And the camera picks them waking up. You know, they're, they're like, Ooh, she's behind him <laughs> I'm laying up, you know, uh. and I'm thinking you know again I think different than y'all my first inclination was like who the fuck got a cameraman in their room uh, okay catching them waking up that ain't real waking up nigga you know that with no damn real waking up you don't wake up like that with a camera unless you put a camera on for what nine hours while you we about to go to sleep baby turn that camera on when we wake up the camera gotta be ready and rolling I was like, come on, man. Don't do that, bro. With the camera, with the fake, fake, with the fake, fake, wake up, wake, wake. That was the fake, fake, wake, wake. Yet. I'm like, what the hell? Um, he's been always a guy that knew how to maneuver, manipulate, and just make stuff look popping. Let's be real. You know, I mean, come on. The boy been on top of stuff since way back in the days. Unfortunately, remember the time he had a big party in, uh, I think, John's College or something in New York? where they had too many people in there and had a stampede some people got killed in one of his parties or you know he's been a hot dude party starter he has always known how to do the parties man he's always been a big dude big visionary since day one so let's give him credit for that he has been that look at him look at the look at the axe he got he damn near ruled the 90s man come on y'all with all of total and and, and mary J and 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 and, and, and so, so many, so mace and so many people he had biggie you know himself you know the locks man come on y'all you know, he was a soundtrack of the 90s if you were in urban hip-hop. He was what it was. Um, but, you know, somewhere, the shit went wrong, okay? The shit went wrong, you know? Um, a lot of people are finding, like, some glee and some 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 excitement seeing his brother go down, man. They're like, yeah, get him. I can get him. Um, it's a change. It's definitely a changing of the guards right now, man. You know, um... People are more sensitive about stuff, um, tired of stuff, how it's been. Um, I've heard the things you've heard, especially the drug situation. I was like, damn, you know, he's doing drugs, I mean, moving drugs. But I mean, his drugs probably ain't nothing, nothing 
some pills or something like that. We know we'll find out in the days, you know, he ain't no Escobar kilos of cocaine coming into the country. And I, I just can't imagine him risking his whole career and empire over some cocaine when he got money from Sean John, the other stuff. Um, he ain't that broke. Okay. He ain't that broke. Um, so I, I, you know, we'll find out in the sex trafficking. And then I don't know what sex trafficking means necessarily. Don't look at me, put it in the comments, you know, you know, um, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I, like, what, 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 what did he do? Like, like, he ain't, does that mean he like bought some girls from Yugoslavia to have sex with people that came? I don't know. I don't know how that works. You know, um, that ain't my thing. But we're gonna break that down and find out exactly what that is. And uh, but he's indefinitely. One thing I know: once the Fed gets your behind, once the Fed start talking, the Fed heads, you know, they got like a ninety-seven percent uh conviction rate. Ninety-seven percent. Okay, you can get convicted. Uh, you, you know, it's shit. If, if your money ain't fat, fat, you know, that 3% ain't, ain't on your side, man. And a lot of people coming down. We're about to hear the whole backstory. But what I trip out about it is, um, you know, I was, I was wondering too, man. I was wondering, what would he think about this? If he was alive today, what would he really think about all this? I think he was trying to get away from the boy. You know what I'm saying? Let's be honest. I think he was trying to get away from um, from uh, Puffy and all that. You know, I know he was trying to start his own group. Um, um, so... But I wonder how he and what would he have been doing, how he would have been looking back then, man. Um, and I don't understand it. When we were young, man, we do a lot of crazy stuff, partying. I remember, remember what's his fool in the, um, the boy named um, Dame Dash pouring, you know, licking on women and stuff like that, man. When you're young, you're doing cocky, ignorant stuff. You know, um, you can chalk it up to your youth. I'm not saying it's correct, I'm not saying it's right, but we did a lot of stuff differently when we were young as we do now. We wouldn't do today. Um, um, and then his allegations of him being a homosexual, you know, I keep on saying puffy gay, puffy gay, him and Usher. First of all, like, what is it that people need to find out your sexuality if you're trying not to get, you know, tell people that? What is the desire to try so hard to find out if someone is gay or not? Um, what is it? If, 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 if you find it gay, do you feel like, yeah, I, I won. I found out. Jeez, I was working so hard. I was, I, was, I was blogging and talking about it so much. And now I found out. You know, is and, uh, and then what, what you're going to do with it then? Like, what would you do with it if you found out that Puffy was gay? Would you like, yes, I ain't supporting him no more because he's, I don't like homosexuals. I, let's say if it was just the gay part, nothing else. You found out he was a homosexual. Oh, he dilly dally. Well, obviously, he does both because he has kids and stuff. But let's just say he had a homosexual experience on the side, too. What would that do for you? Just curious for you. Would you just like, just want to know. I just need to know. Why do you need to know that? You know, what, that, what will you do with that information? What will you do? It would just satisfy your soul. Like, yeah, I feel good about it now. Now I know that he was a homosexual. Wow. Okay. All right. And then, uh, yeah. And people find, try to find so hard to find that out because I believe when you find it out, you're going to put a negative to it. And then you wonder why people don't let you know they're gay. You know, why don't you just come out and say you're gay? For what? So you can bash them and get rid of them or try to make them look bad or something? What? What? what, what? Really? Really? And if they're gay and they're trying to hide it and you need to know, again, why do you need to know? What does it work for your life? Just curious. I'm just curious. You put it in the comment. What does it do for your life if you know an entertainer is gay? What does it do? I'm glad I ain't not lying. Bitch, you lying. Nigga, you lying on some shit. Lying on your taxes, motherfucker. You know what I mean? What is it? But, you know, whatever. You know, I guess since I'm saying this as a legal, just a respectable adult saying this, now I'm homosexual. You probably gay, Pierre. Are you trying to defend them? No, I'm just trying to defend the right of people trying to keep, keep their shit to themselves. That's all I'm doing. You'll never, you'll never find out I'm gay because I'm not gay. You'll never find out somebody with videos nothing now again i don't you know i have gay friends i, I, I can't like i said told um tasha k shit i got friends who you know who do illegal shit and rough them up i don't hang around as much but they're my friends i know who they are you know don't mean i'm one of them you know what i'm saying shit and if you in show business you're gonna know some gay people okay <laughs> yeah okay um but what I don't like is the abuse of women that they say he's this man did, Puffy. You know, beating women and all that kind of shit. Like, that is ridiculous. Beating them and stomping. I said, one girl said she was pregnant. He stomped on her and shit. Like, what the? Come on, man. If this is true, nigga, you need to go to jail. 
You yeah, you need to go for jail for that. Mm hmm. It's not about people always say, well, the women around, they know nah, they might come around to get stomped on. Don't know woman get involved with people like Puffy to say, I want to get beat on. Don't know women get in a relationship that I want to get beat the hell out of. No, no, no. Have you ever had somebody had a reputation of being an ass? And you get to meet him like, oh, he's really a nice guy. He actually was cool. She's really a cool person. I thought, man, I thought you was, I heard all kind of negative stuff about you, but you actually a cool person. Same thing with cele anybody, celebrities. You might heard something about Puffy. Don't mean it's true. So when people get to meet him, you know, they might say, oh, he's cool. And maybe to them, you know, maybe he's never done nothing. He didn't beat up and do stuff to everybody he's met. There's people he's met that he ain't done shut stuff to. Now you got Mace coming out, you know, he going bonkers and well, he's been coming out. He's been pissed off. I thought it was more of a legal stuff. Now the people who have been pissed off at Puffy legally for legal reasons, not paying the money or whatever, they jumping on the, the bandwagon now and getting, 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 getting it in. Get it in, in. Whatever they can say. You know, I don't know, man. It's 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 crazy, man. It's just um, you know, I don't think I, I don't find any glee or excitement and happy to see this man going down, you know. But again, if he's done the, those wrong things they said he has, yeah, bro, you gotta pay for the price. You gotta pay the piper, man. That ain't cool. That that ain't cool. But I'm not gonna want to see you. I never want to see a black man or a black woman going down for any reason. But again. And he's, he, and like I said, I don't like to see him. I don't like to see them doing wrong to people either. They're victims in these situations sometimes, you know. And when it's victims of them, man, you know, how do you think they feel, man? They went through the 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 the, the, the wrongness. I've been in showbiz long enough. There's some people I need. To, yeah, if they were going down, I'd be like, yeah, you, yeah, you deserve to go down. Not happy that you're going down, but you deserve to go down. You did some foul stuff, brother or sister. You know what I'm saying? But to sit there and be excited and all that, oh, he going down, yeah, get it there. Nah, man, you, we shouldn't, especially as black folks. It's so hard to get to a certain level to see somebody get yanked down and stuff. Yeah, and there are plenty of people doing negative stuff that, unfortunately, they, you know, they're not big names. They're not getting caught, you know, doing those things. And, um, you know, I don't know. I just hope a lot, like I said, people don't take advantage of their power. There's people who, even females, you know, who run companies and, major entertainment places that can be foul and nasty and get rid of other women and get you know fire people just because they, they don't like why they looked or they didn't bow down to them quick enough or whatever that's some foul people with power is a is a very interesting thing man when people have power man they just sometimes just very abusive of it man it's very abusive power and money and normally both of those go back you know go side to side with each other and even the average person you know, when they get money, you know, they feel powerful. You see how people hit the lottery and start acting the ass and shit, buying all kind of stuff, treating their folks wrong and shit. Yeah, that money, that, you know, that $50 million. Yeah, that, that's power. That money is power. <gasps> Excuse me, it's power. Thank God I've never got like that. I've never been like that. Never. You're going to find nobody saying I've been like that. Come on, get in the comments if, you, if I did you wrong like that. Never have I done people shitty, you know, because I had the money or the power. I just don't believe that. I believe, you know, that what comes around goes around. And that's why to this day, I'm still standing, working, you know, doing very well. You know, maybe not as popular as some of the bigger names, but I'm blessed and doing very well right now. You know, and even during my hard times, there are people who looked out for me and said, P, I got you. I'll put you on the show. I'm going to do this. People gave me money. Just said, here, man, in my hand. Got me five and bam, I got $500. Damn, a stack. Ten grand. You know, I'm telling you, people looked out for me. Because they remember I wasn't a douche, you know? You know what I'm saying? Now, that doesn't mean that somebody that I got a story about. Well, he was... Uh, uh, let me tell you how this works with me. If you bring that negative energy to me in an asshole, especially back then, I was bringing it right back to you. So please, when somebody says, well, he was an asshole, so you got to tell them you was an asshole first. Because I don't just come off being an asshole. I wouldn't do that to nobody. You guys find out, what did you do? If they don't tell you exactly what they did, now, don't, don't please with the nothing. I ain't do nothing. I just said hi. And he was the meanest person in the world. That doesn't, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. To tell you what really happened. If they tell you what really happened, sometimes they say, well, yeah, I should have done him, but he's a comedian. He's going to take it. No, 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 no. I'm a human being. Yeah. I, I, I was like, fuck you to him first. But he's a celebrity. He's supposed to take it. No, 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 no. That's why I acted the way I acted towards you. Because I'm a human being. I'm a man. You thought just because you saw me on TV, you could treat me anyway or talk to me anyway. I could be out with a 
I can be out by myself or be out somewhere with my boys. And some girl looking at me and, and she tell her boyfriend, that's, that's the comedian guy. I'm like, I don't give a fuck who that nigga is. Now, my next response, now I'm cooler. But before, before I'd be like, that's all right. Long as she no player, I'm good. What you trying to say, nigga? Fuck you. He came off fucked it. You know what I'm saying? But he don't remember that. Nah, I, I ain't do shit, nigga. No, you did. Bitch ass nigga. She insecure ass. So, you know, then he'll walk away and say, that nigga ain't shit. Fuck that nigga. No, you ain't shit, nigga. Your girl said she, I was a comedian. You had to respond the way you respond with your dog ass. She insecure ass. Bitch. But, you know, that's what it is. But, to, you know, like I said, I always um, appreciate it. Appreciate folks who show me love. But back to this guy here, man. So every day something's unfolding, man. I believe he's going to go down in a big way. Uh, people kind of hinting with the word, in the S word, the suicide word. They say, you somebody go there, go do all that. Can't go survive. First of all, if he goes to prison, he ain't going to be in there with the rest of everybody. I don't believe that. I think he got enough money to be over there with the feds where they, you know, old people who ain't trying to do nothing but get out. But I, uh, if they can prove it, when the feds come, the feds don't come to give you two or three years, man. When the feds come, they're looking at that 20 plus. Ooh wee. I sure hate to see it be over for Puffy, man. But again, you got to pay the piper, brother. If you was fouled to these people, man, that's that claiming it is really true and they can find proof that you did that, man. You know what you did, brother. You know what you did. If you did that, man, you got to pay, brother. And hopefully this continues to send a message to other people who are out there doing shit, shitty shit, you know, on a higher level. The R. Kelly is all of them. ain't the only one. There's some other people out there right now that's nervous and it's good. Hopefully they'll stop doing that bullshit. Hmm. Don't let that power get you in jail, brother. Get rid of your freedom. Don't let it do it. Or ladies, don't let it do it. Don't let it do it, man. That power can be beastie. Who is that? Fanny Willis? She, she, shit. She just went through it, you know? Behind closed doors, man. People, boy, people are something else behind closed doors. <laughs> but, um, I wish him well. But again, the, the victims, you know, and I know a couple people who were around him back in the days. And uh, a couple of them said he didn't. They didn't see that, you know, that side of them. They're like, we didn't see that, you know. I believe him, but, you know, of course, what are they going to say? Yeah, I saw him fucked up. He was fucking everybody being slutty. Why'd you do something? Oh, well, no, man. Yeah, I ain't want to do nothing. No. Fuck my money up. So, of course, everybody's going to say they ain't seen him do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen him do nothing. Oh, okay. No. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he's capable of doing it. He was in positions to do stuff like that. But, again... Um, I'm not going to clown a black man going to jail, most likely. But I'm also not going to um, feel sorry for a guy who's victimized a lot of people and did people wrong, too, man. So hopefully that message is uh, being sent to other people, like I said. And we'll see. Um, I have a couple of great messages. Uh, got a comedy show. If you in the Virginia area coming up, boom, look when that's coming up right there. Bam. Um, and my movie... That's right. Slices on Tubi part one and two doing very, very well. Very, very well. And basically for those who haven't seen the movies, it's part one and part two is out now. Part three is on its way. It's completed. It'll come out in probably about a month or a month and a half. It's a trilogy. One, two, and three. And it's basically a horror comedy. It's basically what black people would do in a horror movie. Not to be racist, but we killed a white man first in part one. You'll see him. Bop, boop, 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 boop. He gone. Rip. <laughs> You know, because usually we know black people die first in horror movies, but mm, but it's very funny. Got a lot of great actors in it, man. I really do. I really appreciate everyone who supported it and came, and those who support it right now. Watch it. It's on free. It's on Tubi. So go to Tubi. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get a, you can get a chance. Check it out. You know, it's uh, it's what it is. Um, also this week I got my man uh, Dave Tolliver from um, Minute Large on the show, doing very well. The numbers are doing very very well. So thank those who watch it. He had a very interesting story. You know, sometimes you you know you think it's got to be Bobby Brown or somebody big to be on it. No, man, you you get somebody like him behind the scenes and tell you some stories about some stuff. You'd be surprised. You're like, damn, you know. Some of them brothers like that, man, they be like ready to talk. They ready to get it off their chest, and he got it off his chest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this week, um, um, Pierre's Panic Room. You know, whoop -de whoop. Like I said, thank those who support. Bam, bam, bam. 
um, you know, Dave Tolliver, Men at Large, you remember him, So Lonely and all of them, Use Me, a lot of great hits in the early 90s. Uh, he went through a lot of stuff, man. Oh, I didn't realize he almost got in a fight with Tretch. Funny story, he'll tell you about that. Well, well it's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. Tretch from Naughty by Nature. But he talks about everything from almost fighting uh, Gerald Levert. You know, Gerald Levert discovered him, uh, him and his boy. Um, so that was kind of interesting, too. I was like, wow. So, again, man, um, let me know what y'all know. Think in the comments, man. Holler at me. I'll, I'll answer some uh, questions, man. And I thank y'all for supporting it. I'm always keeping 100. You know, sometimes people, a lot of times y'all love what I do here, and I thank you so much. Some people get frustrated because I ain't, fuck that bitch, suck that dick, dick fuck that hoe-ass, bitch-ass, but, um, bro, bro, let it go somewhere else for that shit. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it how I want to keep it. Just because I ain't cussing people out and cussing them and making them feel bad and all that. I ain't doing my job on here. I'm just going to speak it like I want to speak it. If I see something wrong, wrong. So I see something right, something right. I go back and forth, you know. I'm a human being. People always want you to be one way. Just say, fuck them bitches. No, bro. No, 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 no. It's ignorance. You can't, you know, a great leader can see how the workers work and the leaders work. Well, you know what I'm saying? You got to know how that shit goes. So you're going to hear me go from all sides, man. But again, appreciate y'all supporting it, man. Love the fact that y'all come on this channel and watch me, man. I keep, I'm going to tell you how I feel. And I'm going to let you know, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll be hyped. Sometimes I'm relaxed with it. But again, uh, Puffy's uh, got a long road ahead of that brother, man. So we'll see how it plays out. And I'll be here to see it and talk about it. It is right there. All, as the kids would say, all day, all day. Let's go with it. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hot tamale is good. <laughs>